Good morning and welcome back to our Families at EMC YouTube channel after the summer and after our holiday club which happened last week which was great wasn't it? Oh yes. You enjoyed it didn't you? I loved it yes. Yeah and if you haven't seen any of the videos they are on the channel for you to have a look at. Um, this week's a bit strange isn't it? Some people are back at school some people are going back to school. It's very exciting. Um, and the Methodist New Year has just started. Oh, Happy New Year! I know, Happy New Year! Seems a bit weird to be doing it now and not in January. But anyway, um, anyway, should we get on with today's episode? I love stories. Do you like stories? Maybe you like reading a book when you go to bed at night. Or if you're little, maybe someone reads you a bedtime story. No one ever reads me a bedtime story. Oh, that's a shame. I know. Some stories are funny and some stories are sad. Stories can take us far away to places we've never been or back into history to times when people lived very differently to how they do today. Maybe you like stories with magic in or stories about other planets. You like stories, don't you, Obadiah? Oh yes, I love it when you read me a bedtime story. But oh. I do have one complaint. Really? What's that? There aren't enough ostriches in your stories. Aren't there? No, there are not. So, <clears throat> I've, I've got a list of some of the stories I want you to read to me. Is that okay? Well, I'm not sure Good. about... Well, we'll start with Goldilocks and the three ostriches. Um, and they, they, then then perhaps we could have Cinder Ostrich. Oh, gosh. OK, so I suppose next you want the three little ostriches. What are you talking about, Anna? Oh. Ostriches aren't little. Ostriches are the biggest birds in the world, you know. Really? Yes, we are. Now, oh, where's that list? Go. Now, Obadiah, actually, we're not here to talk about your stories. What? Today, we're going to hear about some of the stories that Jesus told. And they're sometimes called parables. You see, sometimes the story is really, really good to help people understand what you actually want to tell them. And Jesus told stories all the time to try and get people to understand that they could see the world differently and change their lives. So what was he trying to tell them? Well, lots of stories that Jesus told were about the Kingdom of Heaven because that's not really an easy thing to understand. Now a kingdom normally means a country, a place ruled by a king. Maybe you've heard people saying that heaven is where we go after we die. Oh yes, I, I have heard that. But Jesus' stories aren't about a place that's far away somewhere we can only get to by dying. They're about what happens when the world we live in is changed into a special place because something changes inside us. Oh. Hannah? Yeah? I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Well, that's okay, Obadiah. That's, that's what Jesus' stories are for, to help us to understand. So... Shall we hear some? Oh, oh, yes, please. There I was, digging a hole. There was once a man. <coughs> what? Oh, oh, all right. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. There was once an ostrich. Better. Who found some treasure buried in a field. Is this a story about pirates? I like stories about pirates. No. Sorry, it isn't. So who buried the treasure? Well, we don't know. I mean, I suppose it could have been pirates. I expect it was. And I expect the ostrich was very happy because he found the treasure. It must have made him very rich. Well, the trouble was, the field he found it in didn't belong to him. He must have been doing some work for someone else when he came across the treasure. So what did he do? He sold everything he owned, so he had enough money to buy the field. 
Now I can dig up the treasure! Yay! The treasure he found was so amazing that he was happy to sell everything he owned to get it. Now, remember, Jesus told us this story to explain what the kingdom of heaven was like. Oh! Is it in a hole? No, but it's so precious and wonderful that when you find it, you realise it's more important than any ordinary possessions could ever be. Feeling God's peace and love is better than having expensive clothes or a posh house or a fast car. The kingdom of heaven is where we find ourselves when we stop chasing after all those things and remember that God is in our hearts right here, right now. Oh. Jesus told a lot of little stories like that one, all trying to get across how special the kingdom of heaven is. Can you tell me another one? Well, okay, we'll do one more today, yeah? Mm. And um, maybe some more in the next couple of weeks. What do you think? That sounds great. So this one is very similar to the one about treasure, except instead of buried treasure, this one's about a pearl. Now, do you know what a pearl is? Oh, oh yes, my granny gets hers done at the hairdressers. <laughs> No, that's a perm, not a pearl. Oh. Hang on, why does your granny go to the hairdressers? Well, she needs to have her hair dressed. No one wants naked hair. But ostriches don't have hair, Obadiah. She wears a wig. Oh, OK. So you don't actually know what a pearl is? Is it one of those posh men? Like a duke? <laughs> no, that's an earl, not a pearl. Oh. I don't know then. Tell me. Well, a pearl is like a beautiful shiny bead and it's made by a sea creature called an oyster. Oh. People make pearls into jewellery, earrings and necklaces and things like that. The story Jesus told us was about a merchant, a man who made money by buying and selling pearls. Hmm. These are okay, but... I'm looking for something really special. What's wrong with these? These are fine pearls. Yes, yes, fine pearls. I've seen hundreds of pearls like these. I'm looking for something I've never seen before. Well, I do have one. What? But with respect, sir, I'm, I'm not sure you can afford it. Well, I think you should show me. If you insist. Wait here. Here. Gosh, that's beautiful. It's exactly what I've been looking for. I must have it. The seller named his price. It was high. The merchant begged him to keep the pearl until he came back for it. He made a promise not to sell it to anyone else. What did the merchant do then? Well, he sold everything he owned. His house, his land, everything. He had just enough money to buy the pearl. You're back. I didn't expect to see you again. Well, once I had seen that pearl, there was no way I was going to let you sell it to anyone else. Here, I've got the money. And it's yours. The merchant was very happy. He didn't care that he no longer had his house or his land or any of his other belongings. Honey? Yes, Obadiah. This story is just like the other one, isn't it? That's right. It has the same message. It's about something so valuable you'd give up everything else to have it. Yes, and that's what Jesus was saying about the kingdom of heaven. Once you've caught a glimpse of it, nothing else seems very important. But it's not an ordinary place that you can get to on a plane or in a car. No, you can find it right where you are. That's amazing. Yes, it is. 
And as I said, next week we'll hear some more stories about what it's like. Shall we sing a song? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes, I love singing. I know you do. Okay. Let's sing. Today's stories were all about the Kingdom of Heaven and we're going to explore those a bit more in the next couple of weeks. It's strange to think of the Kingdom of Heaven as somewhere that you can just be, isn't it? You don't have to travel there. Well, I'm quite glad because I, I don't like travelling very much. No. I get, I get travel sick. Do you? Yes, I do. Oh, I know quite a few people that get travel sick. But, as I said, with the Kingdom of Heaven, we don't need to travel anywhere because it happens in our hearts and it can happen right here, right now. So, should we pray? Oh, yes. Lord God, we pray that you will help us find the Kingdom of Heaven in our hearts every day so that we realise your love is more special than anything else that we can buy. And Lord, we ask you to just look after all those people starting new schools and new classes this September. Be close to them. Help them not to be so anxious or to be upset or to be worried. Help them to make new friends. Help them to meet old friends. And help them to not feel alone. In your name. Amen. Amen. So. We'll see you next week with some more parables. Bye. Bye.